What's up muscle and strength? Chris Bumstead here. Today I'm gonna to be taking you guys through my typical breakfast, or at least the breakfast I eat when I'm actually at home. So my favorite thing to eat while I'm not traveling on the road, have my kitchen at hand, is protein pancakes. So I'll show you guys how I make it. The base of it, essentially where I try to get most protein and like calories in the morning, is then I do four whole eggs right in the bottom. That contributes to most of the liquid. For carbs, I normally weigh out anything between 80 to 100 grams. Didn't eat much yesterday, so we're gonna do 100 grams today. Just pour it in. So I still pretty much weigh everything I eat in the off season. Obviously you don't have to weigh eggs because it's just, you count the number of eggs, but I pretty much weigh everything, not to eat too much or too little, but just to kind of stay consistent. And if I notice I drop weight, I know where to add it. If I put on too much weight, I know where to take it out and just keep things a little bit more consistent. One of the most important parts of this recipe is the banana. A for flavor, B because it adds a kind of a better texture to it. it. Makes them a little bit more fluffy when you actually cook them up. So they'll just plop in about three quarters of a normal sized banana. And finally, which is like the flour of the recipe, I would call it, I add protein in. So I've been using the cookies and cream MHP maximum way. Probably my favorite flavor they have and it almost adds like a cake taste to the batter. So just do one scoop of protein and on top of that, I add in some glutamine in the morning. So baking powder, also it never comes with a scoop in it, but this kind of makes the, the pancakes fluff up a little bit and cook a lot better. So I actually use the scoop for the glutamine for the baking powder. I add in like a pinch of that and then a full scoop of glutamine in there. Glutamine is just like a really good like amino acid that's like you need and you obviously don't have too much abundance of and the harder you train your body kind of expends a lot of it so it's good to get it in through a supplement. Last thing I do is I add in some cashew milk or almond milk whatever I use unsweetened vanilla and this is just to kind of help it mix. I put that in the top so when I blend it everything kind of comes together. This is my go-to breakfast now because I honestly, I hate oatmeal. And I don't think I'm the only one, but I know it's like, it's a great carb to eat, especially in the morning. It's a very slow digesting carb. So it's a great thing to eat for breakfast, but I just hate eating it plain. So my trade-off was just to make pancakes and make them actually taste good. There's no time. It's all skill when cooking these. So when you pour it on, you kind of want to wait until bubbles start to come through. And as soon as there's the bubble on the top side, that's when they're, they're usually ready to flip and flip them over. And at that point, you only leave them over for like maybe 20 seconds and they're usually good to go. This is just one of those preference things. For some reason, they just taste better when they're smaller. Bite-sized things always taste better. Like mini cookies or mini muffins, little things always just taste better. Yeah, the baking powder, I think, I mean, what it says, it's supposed to magically raise it everything you cook. So it just kind of expands it as it gets hot. And I found also adding that almond milk at the end, which instead of the only liquid being the egg, which cooks hard, the almond milk is a liquid that doesn't actually cook hard. I find that makes them a little bit more fluffier and less dense. So to these, there's really not much order to it. I just kind of do half and half blueberries and raspberries. Get a little bit of health in your life. I usually try and get one, maybe two meals of veggies in, and then I'll have like a vegetable, like a green supplement I use because it's just like a pain in the ass when you're eating so much food to get in veggies as well. But when I'm like actually full prep dieting, I actually eat veggies probably every meal just kind of as a filler and just for more health. I usually put them in for like 45 seconds 
just kind of check it. You can see the fruit will start to like pop and overflow and that's when you want to stop it. A lot of people don't have a good appetite in the morning and you don't just want to wake up and have a protein shake every morning. Like that's the most typical thing to do. Everyone just has a shake. So you actually want to get like nutrient stuff in the whole eggs, some real good carbs and oats and stuff like fruit and everything. So this is just kind of a perfect way to get that all together and actually enjoy your breakfast. Not my best cooking job, but you get the picture and it tastes pretty damn good. Like I said, if you go on a little more sweetness to it and you don't really care about like a tiny bit of extra sugar, a tiny bit of like maple syrup on it goes a long way, makes it taste really sweet, a lot better, and kind of adds a little bit more of the dish.